This tutorial looks at moles in solution, in other words how concentrations can be worked out not only in grams per cubic centimetre or grams per litre or cubic decimetre as we'll soon learn but also in moles per cubic decimetre as a new standard way of measuring concentrations. Well, step by step, as usual, we'll first of all learn about what it means to be concentrated. What does concentration actually mean? And then we'll look at how we convert between cubic centimetres and this new um, volume of cubic decimetres and backwards again. Let's start by looking at what dilute and concentrated mean. Well, concentrated solution is one which has got an awful lot of solute and not so much solvent in it, whereas a dilute solution is one which has got a lot of solvent and not very much solute in it. And you can convert between the two. You can change a concentrated solution into a dilute solution by adding more of the solvent, usually water. So a more concentrated solution has more crowded particles and uh, the more solvent particles that you add uh, makes it more and more dilute. Now we're used to measuring volumes in cubic centimetres in chemistry and uh, mass in grams. So the usual way of expressing concentration in the past has been in how many grams are in how many cubic centimetres or grams per cubic centimetre. But standard units of volume are cubic decimeters in chemistry. I know it's not in physics, but it is in chemistry. Cubic decimeters are used, where a cubic decimeter we know as one litre. In other words, a thousand cubic centimeters. Um, of course, now, though, we don't only measure mass in grams. We can also measure mass in the number of moles of particles. So we could also measure concentration in moles per cubic decimeter. What then is a cubic decimeter? And indeed, what's a decimeter? When I was a kid, they used to have decimeters on rulers. A decimeter is 10 centimeters. So if you were to make a big block of 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters, that would be the same as one decimeter by one decimeter by one decimeter. Well, one by one by one decimeter, of course, is one cubic decimeter. But 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres is 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000 cubic centimetres. As you can see from this diagram, it's exactly the same thing. 1,000 cubic centimetres on this diagram is the same as 1 cubic decimetre on this diagram. So you've just got to remember that cubic centimetres to cubic decimetres we divide by 1,000. If you're converting cubic decimeters to cubic centimeters, you're going to multiply by a thousand or ten to the three, of course. So a bit of practice with conversions. If you're converting from cubic centimeters to cubic decimeters, of course, cubic decimeters are bigger things and therefore there's less of them. So you've got to divide by a thousand. So, for example, if you're converting 22,400 uh, cubic centimeters into cubic decimeters, you divide that by a thousand and you'd end up with 22.4 cubic decimeters, whereas if you were converting cubic decimeters into cubic centimeters, cubic centimeters are little things and therefore you're going to have a lot of them for each cubic decimeter, so you're going to multiply by a thousand. So if you had 0.5 of a cubic decimeter and you wanted that in cubic centimeters, you'd multiply that by a thousand. 0.5 times a thousand is 500 cubic centimeters. Now there is a relationship between the amount in moles the concentration in moles per cubic decimeter and the volume in cubic decimeters. Uh, these three equations are obviously from the same source. The amount in moles, the concentration and the volume intimately related and we'll have a look at a triangle that will help you obviously to uh, remember that. The important equations for these calculations are given on this slide. You can either learn one or more of those, uh, depends on how good your maths is in terms of rearranging equations, or learn this triangle, and from this triangle you can work out all of the equations. For example, if you want to know the amount in moles, then it's equal to the concentration times the volume. If you want to need, need to know the concentration, then it's the amount of moles divided by the volume, and so on and so forth. 
So you need to know that the concentration of solutions can be given in two ways, either in grams per cubic decimeter or in moles per cubic decimeter. And you need to be able to understand how to convert between each of those, in other words, from grams to moles and moles to grams. Here's a question that looks at conversion. Converting from moles per cubic decimeter to grams per cubic decimeter, this way around first. For example, we've got a solution of potassium hydroxide, which got a concentration of 2 moles per cubic decimeter. We've got to convert that into grams per cubic decimeter. So, first thing we've got to think of is, well, what does 2 moles of potassium hydroxide weigh? And indeed, what does, therefore, 1 mole of it weigh? Well, let's work out what 1 mole of potassium hydroxide is by working out, first of all, the MR. And the MR, well, it's got one potassium, which is 39, and it's got one oxygen, which is 16, and one hydrogen, which is 1, which is going to come to 40, 56 units. And therefore, one mole is 56 grams, and therefore, two moles is going to be two times the mass of one mole, twice the molar mass, which is going to be... 112 grams. So we've got 2 moles, which is 112 grams, and we've got a concentration of 2 moles per cubic decimeter. So in grams per cubic decimeter, that 2 moles is 112 grams per cubic decimeter. Let's now have a look at this the other way around, converting from grams per cubic decimeter to moles per cubic decimeter. And we've got a solution here of sodium hydroxide, NaOH, with a concentration of 4 grams per cubic decimeter. But how many moles is 4 grams? Well, what does a mole of sodium hydroxide weigh? OK, to do that, we must work out the relative formula mass of sodium hydroxide. And that's going to be 1 sodium, which I know is 23, and an oxygen, which is 16, and a hydrogen, which is 1. And that's going to come to 40 grams. Now, 40 grams is 1 mole. Well, how many moles is 4 grams? OK, well, we've got the mass, 4, and we've got the molar mass, 40. So the number of moles equals the mass over the molar mass, which is 4 over 40 in grams. And that's going to come to 0.1 moles. So we've got 4 grams per cubic decimeter, but as 4 grams is 0.1 moles, that concentration then is 0.1 mole per cubic decimeter. But, um, now let's return to that triangle. Remember that we can work out one of these three things if we know the other two. So if we know the concentration and the volume, we can work out the amount in moles and so on and so forth. Now, just parking that triangle up in the corner so we can refer to it. A student's got 0.25 cubic decimeters of a 2 mole per cubic decimeter solution. How many moles does this contain? Well, OK, here's the volume and here's the concentration. So we've got these two parts. We don't know the number of moles. So the number of moles is the concentration times the volume. So the concentration, which is 2 times the volume, 0.25, is going to be 0.5 of a mole in total. Second question, a student's dissolved 3 moles of sodium hydroxide, dissolved in 0.5 cubic decimeters of water. What's the concentration of this solution? Well, here we know the number of moles, 3, and we know the volume, 0.5 cubic decimeters, and it's the concentration we don't know. So the concentration is going to equal the amount in moles over the volume. So the concentration amount in moles over volume, which is 3 moles divided by 0.5, which is 6 moles per cubic decimeter. You can see how important it is going to be to learn that triangle there. Final part of this part of the specification is to perform calculations involving the concentration for simple dilutions of solutions, for example, make it a more dilute solution from a more concentrated one. Let's then take the example which is given in the specification. We want to be able to dilute a solution of 1 mole per cubic decimeter down to a solution of 0.1 mole 
cubic decimeter. And I suppose that's a bit like um, diluting orange squash. You know, you take a concentrated solution of orange squash and you make a dilute solution. And what do you do? Well, you add water. You take some of the original solution and you add it to a large amount of water. So that's what we're going to do. Well, this diagram on the left hand side represents my one cubic decimeter, that's 1000 cubic centimeters, of my one mole per cubic decimeter solution. Um, and that contains a whole mole, one mole dissolved in that volume. But of course, for my solution I'm trying to make on the right hand side, which is much more dilute, so paler blue, I only need 0.1 of a mole. Now, how am I going to get 0.1 of a mole from here? Well, I'm going to take one tenth of the solution, which is uh, 0.1 of a cubic decimeter, or essentially 100 cubic centimeters. I'm going to skim that off the top here. I'm then going to add water to it, but I'm not going to add it to 1,000 cubic centimeters or one cubic decimeter, because then I'm going to have 1.1 uh, cubic decimeters or 1,100 cubic centimeters. I don't want that. I want one thousand cubic centimeters so I'm going to add it to the rest of the water I'm going to add it to 900 cubic centimeters or 0.9 of a cubic decimeter because this tenth of a mole is mixed up already with 0.1 of a cubic decimeter so to make it up to a whole cubic decimeter I have to add the other 0.9 so that's shown here and then when I add these two together I've now got one cubic decimeter or a thousand cubic centimeters in which is dissolved 0.1 of a mole. That's how it's done. Here's a couple of other questions. You're given a 500 cubic centimeter uh, amount of a two mole per cubic decimeter solution of sodium hydroxide but you want to make up 100 cubic centimeters of a one mole per cubic decimeter solution so this solution has to be half the concentration. So essentially what you would do is you would take uh, equal amounts of the original solution and water. So I'm going to take 50 cubic centimeters of that original solution and top it up with 50 cubic centimeters of water and then it's going to be half as diluted or twice as diluted I should say, half as concentrated. In my second case I'm going to make up a 100 cubic centimeters of a 0.5 mole per cubic decimeter solution. Now if it's 0.5 it's a quarter the concentration of the original so I need to make this up with a quarter of the original solution and three quarters of water to make up a hundred. So a quarter of the hundred is going to be 25 cubic centimeters taken out of this solution. 25 and I'm going to dilute it with uh, three quarters or 75 cubic centimeters of water.